Let me ask you, what do you guys miss the most about the pre-COVID, pre-quarantine life? <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything. Yeah, hugging, yeah. hugging friends. I feel you on that. Well, let me just give you a virtual hug right now. I hope you guys can feel that. Thank, Thank you. you so Back much. at you. Um, what I keep feeling like is I'm missing, you know, for lack of a better word, uh, certainly friends, but ceremony. Do you know what I mean? Like my kid yeah. graduated from high school and it was like on the computer, you know? Yeah. I mean, all of the, uh, you That's know. That's a big moment. Yeah. That, and, and I just, you know, miss gathering with, you know, going to the theater. I, I miss being on the subway. I mean, do you know? I mean, even even things like that sort of have, have felt like a ritual in their absence, you know? No doubt about it. Life is a collection of moments, and we, we've definitely been missing them. Um, Sharon, I, I have to say, I, I appreciate you being vocal about the coronavirus, and I'm glad to hear that your sister Kelly and her husband are um, doing much better. Um, you have to be relieved, right? I'm... I'm so relieved that I think I'm starting to crumble myself because it was just so stressful and my son had to have surgery at the same time. And so having to go to a surgery place during this period, I just was <laughs> beside yeah. us. Congratulations on, on Ratchet. It is um, beautifully, beautifully shot. Um, I, I need to ask though, because it's it's filmed and set in a certain time, it's kind of like a period piece, rich colors, textures. Um, what was the most exciting part about kind of filming in that space and time? Well, for me, it just does the bulk of the work for you. So if you're really lazy, like I am, <laughs> uh, it really <laughs> lends itself to, you know, there was no way to walk on the set every time I looked at any actor who walked on for the first time and you're just like, your hat, look at the belt, look at your shoes, look at your gloves. I mean, Sharon's clothes were just, you know, next level. I wanted to own every everything that, that <laughs> she had on and including the monkey. I wanted to take the monkey home. <laughs> Um, but I just thought the sets were also so incredible, the beautiful, um, uneven nature of the floors in the hospital and the way they made everything, you know, just look so textured and saturated. And I think, Cynthia, you said the other day on one of these things we were doing, the thing that your son said that I thought was so fascinating about how traditionally in, in noirish things, things are told in shadow, right? Weren't you saying that? And that this Black and white, yeah. Black and, white and that this is so saturated and it almost creates even more of that eerie uh discordant kind of you the know. disjunct right between this this creepiness of the story and the and the, the technicolor of the uh, of the colors that ryan shows for this and optimism it it makes and, it and, and yeah. bright blues and and everything where i mean have you ever seen like these pink card tables were just stunning yeah. and 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 i and i just think that to shoot a noir story in Technicolor is it really explained, I thought, the characters because yeah. they were like noir characters in Technicolor. But the thing that it kept making me feel also was not just, I mean, it worked so great for Ratched, you know, dramatically and aesthetically, but also it made me feel like this period in American history, you know, just post World War, late 40s, early 50s, that we think of as like, oh, America's golden era and so sunny and optimistic and every, you know, what it yeah. really tells us is, well, the surface really looked great, but just right below the surface, such terrifying, malevolent things were going on. And there was no, in the aesthetics, that was not reflected at all. No doubt. It's, it's like the, the energy of the era was a character in itself and it was well captured. Um, Sarah, I have to ask you, you wore two hats in this project, executive producer and also actor. Was it tough given the fact that you were in almost every scene? Uh, it, it was tough only in so much as that it was a challenge for me to accept that I was expected to do both things and I wanted to do them both well. And I, um, wanted to be, um, you know, fully in that feeling of feeling responsible and, and wanting to, to hold that, uh, banner as, as tightly and as confidently as possible. But, uh, it was, it was nerve wracking. It's always, um, it's always a nerve wracking experience to step into something for the first time. I think, you know, I never played okay. a title character before. I've never executive produced anything before. I've never worked with these wonderful actresses before. So, you know, it was a, a lot of firsts.
No doubt. Now that's my next question. You guys haven't worked together. So Cynthia, I'll start with you and then Sharon, you could chime in. Um, what was it like working together? Because you guys are three beautiful, very talented, dynamic talents. And I'm gonna just raise my hand and ask for this I'll again. Stop it some more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what was it like working with each other, Cynthia? Well, it was amazing. You know, Sarah and I have known it, we're friends and we've known each other for a lot of years. So, you know, Sharon and I have met, but of course, you know, she's a, a hero of mine, as is, you know, Judy Davis and Sophie Okonedo and, you know, these these women who are just such large, I mean, really idols in your life to then get to meet them and hang out with them personally, but also to act with them and to get to see them craft these performances. I mean, that's, that is one of the many beauties of, of the Ryan Murphy universe is it gives you that opportunity. Yeah. And Sharon, I know that you've been a fan of Ryan for quite some time. Um, what was it about this role that drew you in? You know, as much as I didn't want it to happen, I think it was the monkey. <laughs> I really resisted the monkey, but ultimately the monkey was such a big piece of the character's um, symbol of her trauma and her problems and to play such um, a bizarrely thinly layered character and then to have this monkey there as your must stay present uh, <laughs> thing because it, it it's a little bit can be a little bit difficult to play someone who's so so scattered in her <laughs> insanity on so many different weird wavelengths the monkey really made, was like there to keep me, keep me in the room. As people watch this, um, what do you want them to take away from it? Sarah, Sharon, and then Cynthia, you can close it out. Um, uh, I would probably want them to take away uh, or at least uh, consider the idea that what you see is not always what you get. Mm. And um, especially a show like this where there is already a preconceived uh, idea about um, uh, the character. So um, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to pull the curtain back and do a little bit of a deeper dive and, and see what's, what's revealed. No doubt. Sharon, Cynthia? I would really like people to take away that uh, mental illness is like any other thing from a cold to cancer. Mm. It's something that we should all get in the same room about and address and not shame anyone over so that we can all just get on the same page and work it out like we're trying to do with every other thing. No doubt. Yeah, I feel I feel the same way that, you know, there are so many things in our our show that are treated as mental illness that we don't conceive of today as mental illness. Um, and that what we see is a, 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 a wide range of characters who are told that some part of them is unacceptable or evil or wrong, and they try so hard to eradicate that part of themselves. And I think the story, like the story that my character keeps trying to tell uh, to the other characters, is you know, you whatever whatever demons that you have inside you there's no squelching them or eradicating them other than bringing them out into daylight and facing them honestly um, and then going on from there. Because if you try to push them down, they will just come back 10 times bigger and stronger and, and more terrifying and more of a problem. Awesome, thank you. We gotta get going. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for capturing the essence of every character you guys embody. Have a good one, take care. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.